this story we're going to talk about today is where technology, where data, where people, where process are meeting to solve the problems of legislative data and law itself. So in 2011, uh, The Guardian wrote, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology has led the world into the future for more than 150 years with scientific innovations. Its brainwaves keep the US a superpower. But what makes the university such a fertile ground for brilliant ideas? Well, in my experience, my brief experience with, uh, with civic media here, uh, it's people like Ethan, it's people like Lori. You guys are bringing together uh, left and right, science and civics. Uh, that's what this discussion and that's what these problems all revolve around. And you, more than most people, know what's at stake. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Aaron Schwartz. Uh, the, uh, the legal issues that he was facing, um, they're real. This is an academic. Now, what does that mean today? It means taking the Constitution or law and legislation that essentially still exists in a format not a whole lot better than this, if it exists on the internet at all, and get it to this. Because if you don't have access to it, you can't be a citizen. Now think about that for a second. You cannot be a full-fledged citizen unless you are enjoying unfettered, restriction-free restricted, restriction access to the stuff of government. This is the Massachusetts, the laws of our, of our state. No APIs, no bulk download, can't access it. What if you're a lawyer or a legal support uh, person? You're trying to do your job and serve clients. You've got to go through all this paper and you're not actually able to serve as many people as you want. If you're a state lawmaker, the first thing that you do when a new issue comes up is you see what everybody else has been doing. You want to see, hey, I'm in Massachusetts. What did they do in Maryland? What did they do in California? But you can't do that because all the laws aren't in the same format and often aren't in the same place. This is just a snapshot of whatever the law happens to be right now. Every word on this page, every sentence, is actually a mosaic. It's the sum total of all of the changes made to that law since the state started. Boston can't do it by itself. America can't do it by itself. So they hire who? They hire outside vendors who do this for a living. This is a simple compiler, but that's exactly what they're doing. They are compiling all of those little changes to the law that happens in a bill and getting it into the right format so that it fits in this. It's translating a bill to the code. That's called codification. And how are they doing that? Well, they're doing it with the same tools, as I've said over and over, that we're faced with on the outside. They're doing it in PDFs. They're doing it in Word. They're doing it on crappy, outdated technology with procurement rules all on top of it. Fixing this requires this. And this is the hardest thing I've found and we've found in our experience to actually own and mean is you gotta have a little sympathy for the devil. Government sucks, the law sucks online today, the ability to access it sucks. You gotta have sympathy for the people who are doing it. They're citizens too. All of the problems that we were talking about before, the tech and the process, not the people, we're trying to address here. Now this started, this whole open source project started in Virginia uh, with a genius civic hacker named Waldo Jaquith. We start with the code could be in a PDF, could be in a text file, could be in an RTF. You have to start with the data that they're giving us. Middle steps, PDFs, RTFs, TXT files. Then we parse that into XML. Boom, decoded law. It's starting to spread a little bit. Started in Virginia, Sunshine Statutes is Florida, Maryland, Baltimore, San Francisco, Philly, Chicago. I wanted to give you a quick overview of the, the production problems, which you may or may not have been familiar with because that explains why it sucks so much on the outside and give you a little bit of look at the technology that we're using uh, to change that. 